Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, my question is to the Minister. My question is to the Minister is, has he seen any reports dated in 2008 of a political party wanting to have the mixed ownership model applying to Kiwi Bank? And which say, if, if so, uh, which political party was it? Point of order. The order a point the, the, of order is being called the Right Honourable Winston Peters. The very order, the very obvious response to that inappropriate question is that that minister. Order, <laughs> order. Remember, was you his seat right now? Order, order. The House just because a member in the House doesn't like a question being asked, the question is in order. It relates to strategic assets and the uh, sale of, of strategic assets and the. the Right Honourable Prime Minister asked about whether the Minister had received certain reports. The, the Honourable Bill English to answer it. Well, Mr Speaker, um, if I wasn't sure which political party it was when the Prime Minister asked that question, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was New Zealand First who advocated mixed ownership model for Kiwi Bank in the 2008 election. Question. Order. Point of order. order. The point of order. The right honourable Mr. Speaker, it's patently obvious that he has received order. a report. Order. Which was my the point. The member will resume his seat immediately. Now, if the member does that again, he'll be leaving the house, because that is not a point of order. Points of order relate to the proceedings of this house, not to whether that member happens to like or dislike an answer or anything said in this house. That does not provide the grounds for a point of order to be raised and the, and the business, the business of this house to be interrupted. And I'm deadly serious. The member will cease that abuse of the point of order process. Question number four, Hone Harawira. In 2008, you uh, proposed floating shares in Kiwi Bank. Is that still your policy? No, I didn't say that. I said if you want to expand Kiwi Bank and didn't have the money, and so you were taking, say, from one billion to 1.5 billion, floating the second 500 uh, uh, mount. You wanted to sell shares no, in no, Kiwi no, Bank. No, didn't no, you? Can I answer the question? You're asking for an economic equation. The public are entitled to it, even if you can't understand it. What I was saying is, if you want to broaden its capital base, doing that would not be a privatisation. It's rudimentary. And you're trying to say it's the same thing. So selling shares in Kiwi Bank, you wanted you, to do we, that? We're not selling you? shares in Kiwi Bank. We're expanding the shareholding base to get you the extra capital. It's a different matter from selling the first billion dollar shares. Don't you see the point? You did sell shares in Auckland Airport, including 40% of them were sold to foreigners. I've got the oh, Hansard yes, you've here. got the Hansard. July 28, I know you've got the Hansard. Who insists you, upon that? You are saying that um, here to Michael Cullen that excluding foreign investors from the offering would have lowered the price that the Crown received from its shares. So why was it okay for you to sell shares <laughs> to foreigners uh, it wasn't in a public asset and now you're raining I, I, I knew it. you'd ask that question. Well, give me the answer. Well, the answer is simply this. We were at the time we were with, caught with a company unable to develop and with high debt.